Hey guys, it is Demi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Or if you're just joining us now, welcome. So for today's video, as you can tell by the title, we are doing a reverse of a beauty challenge that I've already done. So if you haven't seen, I did a beauty challenge where I only used the most expensive product that I own for 24 hours. Now I'm going to be using all of the cheapest products that I own for 24 hours. And I'm really, really excited about it because honestly, my skin did feel good after the expensive products video. And you know, I felt like I had a right pamper, a great old time there. But just because products are cheap, it doesn't mean that they're not good. So I'm really, really excited to get in with this video and use love, love, love my 24 hour beauty challenge videos. So I'm really hoping that this is the one that is a like. Like I said, this is a bit of a series that I've got going on my channel. I have a whole playlist of them, which I will link below for you to go and watch. But yeah, it's just a fun time. We're getting to pamper ourselves for 24 hours, trying a whole range of different products, and that's what we're going to be doing today. Now, I'm in the bathroom because I need to cleanse my face. I've had this makeup on for approximately 12 hours, and I'm sick of it. I am absolutely sick of it. So, when it came to cleansers, obviously when I'm doing this video, I had to sit down, work out the prices of everything, and find the cheapest one of everything that I owned. So when it came to cleansers, I had quite a big selection of cleansers to choose from because my cleanser collection has just accumulated over the years. So the cleanser that I worked out was the cheapest one that I owned is this, and this is the Prep and Perfect Oil to Milk Cleanser, and this is actually from Primark's PS range. I think I used this in one of my 24-hour Primark Beauty Challenge videos. And I remember it being really good. I haven't used it much since. I mean, it is half a tub gone, so I must have used it for quite a few weeks after that video. But I haven't used it in a while, so I'm really excited to give it a bash. So I've got my hot cloth ready, and I'm just going to wet my hand. It's a powerful thing. So I usually, with any cleanser, I have a hot cloth ready, and I just wet my fingertips on one hand. And then I just apply the cleanser to my hand. I usually do about three pumps to see how much it works. Now I rub it into both my hands and then I just apply it to the face. Okay, I think I definitely need more because I don't think this feels like there's enough on my hand. Go for another three pumps. It is a really, really liquidy cleanser. Like it feels really liquidified. Liquidified? You know what I mean. Just make sure you put it a bit. It smells really nice though. Oh my God, I absolutely love taking my makeup off. Like... It's an actual dream. It's all removed with the cleanser. Now, I think I remember why I haven't reached for it in a while. You do need two layers of the cleanser and you do need to scrub quite hard to get it off. It's quite a thin layered cleanser and I think that's how I probably got through it quite quick because it takes a while. It takes a while to come off with the cleanser, but nonetheless, I have got the makeup off and yeah, my skin feels okay. Now, I'm gonna go in the shower. So, the cheapest shower gel or shower related thing or wash related thing that I could find was this solid soap that I have. Now I never go in the shower and wash with solid soaps, like I just don't do it. I'm more of a like squirty shower gel type of girl. But this actually retails at 60 pence and all of my shower gels retailed at a pound. So this came in at the cheapest. This is the Imperial Leather Just Peachy Sweet Soap, jam packed with scent and delicious sun peaches and yummy and tropical fruits. So I'm gonna go in the shower and this is gonna be my soap that I use in the shower. Now, if you've watched any of my beauty videos or 24 hour beauty challenges before, you'll know that I don't experiment with hair care products on my hair. I have a scalp condition called dermatitis and it's very, very well maintained at the moment, but when it triggers up, it can be very, very painful, which means for me playing around with hair care products is just too much of a risk. It's not worth doing in my opinion. So I just don't do it. I don't play around with hair care products. However, I'm so, so excited to let you know that this video is so, so kindly sponsored by my favorite hair care brand or one of my favorite hair care brands that is out there and that is Function of Beauty. Now, Function of Beauty, if you don't know, is a personalized shampoo and conditioner. As you can see, I have mine here. So this is the round that I went for. I went for pink. I really like the look of the pink one, so I got them again. Now these ones are in the scent peach. They smell really good. 
as you can see on the bottle i went for the personalization of function of demi i just really love how you can personalize these if you've never heard of function of beauty they're a hair care brand that allow you to basically create your own product you take a two minute survey online where you basically talk about your hair goals your hair needs your hair wants so for example for these ones i picked that i wanted them to straighten my hair i picked that i wanted them to give my hair a shine and i wanted them to soothe and moisturize my scalp so yeah you get to choose how you want your shampoo and conditioner to be made you get to choose everything from like what you want them to actually do with your hair but also the scent and color is your choice as well which i mean i love that i literally felt like i was sitting in a lab concocting my own shampoo and conditioner and it really made us feel like a scientist that i'm absolutely not but i personally love 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 function of beauty and another great thing about them is they are sulfate and paraben free which personally for me is absolutely amazing and the best thing is they are vegan and cruelty friendly as well so you don't have to worry about that if that's something that you do look for and you are concerned about they're completely safe to use if you click the link in my description below you will be able to get 20 percent off your first order so if you're looking to create your own shampoo and conditioner do it with a discount I also noticed on the website that they have actually started doing body wash and body lotion because I love the shampoo and conditioner so much I had to pick these up so this is the body wash that I got and again I just branded them with Function Demi these come in a lovely pale blue color and I got these ones in a mint scent so yeah they smell really nice but I'm really excited about them I'm really excited to give these a bash however I won't be allowed to try them in this video but I will be trying them the next time I go in the bath and shower because unfortunately I have to use this little 60 pence soap for this video but yeah once again thank you so much to Function of Beauty for sponsoring this video and I'm gonna go in the shower and I'll see you when I get out. I'm out the shower and don't get us wrong the soap in itself smelt nice it did its job it cleaned it but does anybody else feel with solid soaps they make you feel like sticky and weird whereas any liquid soap even if it's like hand soaps they don't do that but solid soaps do that for me so washing myself in the shower with a full solid soap just like it isn't really for me okay guys so now for skincare for the cheapest skincare i've picked out all the cheapest things that i had I've got it piled up in front of us so i'm gonna go in with a face mask first because my skin's been really dry recently and i just need a face mask in my life now i actually got a bundle of these face masks on yes style for like I got loads of them for like five pound and when i worked it out it worked out that each sheet mask cost is literally like 30 40 pence so i'm really really cheap so i'm gonna go in with one of these this is the aqua collagen essence mask it just says firming moisturizing and refining and then i also picked this up not long ago in save as it's a roller i've always wanted one of these just because they look really really cool and this was literally like three pounds so i'm gonna allow myself to use it i mean i don't have anything to compare it to to see if it is the cheapest thing but it wasn't expensive so i'm gonna allow myself to use it so let me get the face mask on sean's well drill he loves it i've got another one in my bag if you want one no. you love a sheet mask you lie i look at him acting like he's never had a sheet mask on every time i get one out my bag he... sheet mask. <laughs> every time i get one out my bag he goes and his eyes look like this little sad puppy and he goes you knock on me one <laughs> But he's acting all manly. I don't need sheet masks. It bloody does. Anyway, I always find. Oh my god, that's so cold when you first put them on. <laughs> oh Christ. Why does the mouth bit never fit me? Okay, I'm gonna get my roller out of its box. This is by the brand True Professional London, by the way. And it's called the jade facial roller ah oh, this looks good okay let me try with the big side <laughs> sean have you done this before no. <laughs> this feels so good can i just roll the mouth a bit this must be for up near your eyes the little one. <gasps> oh wow oh god i've got a little flap oh so smooth my god it actually presses it right on your face it's so good okay so i've rolled on the sheet mask i'm gonna leave this on for about 10-15 minutes and then i will be back to test the rest of the products for tonight 
Okay guys, it's been 10 minutes and it's ready for the sheet mask to come off. I absolutely love taking them off. I'm just gonna give the juice a bit of a smooth round my face and bring it around the neck. <laughs> guys, Sean sure tried to tell us that <laughs> my laptop was in the frame of the thing in case I had anything personal on and he literally just went, Try and indicate not to disturb the video. <laughs> Anyways, face me a discrease. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is moisturize and hydrate. So the things that I have here, I have the Asda Radiant Stay Cream. Now this is the cheapest cream that I owned. This was three pound in Asda. When I did the Asda Beauty for 24 hours, I got this cream and it was only three pound and it's actually the cheapest one that I owned. And then along with that, when I did the Revolution Beauty, I ended up getting this Watermelon Moisture Gel and this is the cheapest gel type of thing that I own. So I'm gonna be using these two on my face now. So I've got my moisturizer and my hydration gel. Now, when I used this in the Asda video, I actually did really like it because it is, um, a really thick cream but i don't know i just it's not one that i've reached for like much since the video i haven't like reached for it much but i do like it and like it is a very usable moisturizer and it is actually really thick which i like because usually cheap creams are like thin but this is really thick so i do actually like it so i've just put a light layer of fat on my face and then the next thing i'm going to do is put a bit of the gel on like i said this is from revolution and these retail at about eight pound i think very affordable it smells so good and i literally just get a little bit of the gel and i just put it around my nose because that's where i get really dry skin and then i just like to add a little layer of it all over as well i have used this quite a few times since i did the revolution beauty video i do really really like it so it's an affordable product that i would recommend to finish off for tonight i'm going to be using a little hydrate and water spray and this is also from primark i think this is like two pound fifty as you can see it's it's like a replica of the mac prep and prime sprays hydrating sprays and this says hydraulic acid and watermelon extract and it's instant hydration i've used this not that many times to be honest i can't remember if i liked it or not are you ready oh my god it's always cold when you do it it's like that temptation and you just you just have to go for it Okay. Fresh. Okay, so I popped that all over my face. It's nice, fresh, and hydrated. And I will see you in the morning when I do my makeup with all of the cheapest makeup products. Morning guys, so I'm gonna be doing my makeup with all of the cheapest products. I've sorted them all out and honestly, this full face of makeup is literally so, so cheap, but you'll see as I go on with the product. So I'm just gonna start by adding some more moisturizer on. This is the same one that I used last night. It's the Asda Radiant Stay Cream. And I'm just gonna start by just putting another layer of this on my skin before I do my makeup. It smells so good. And then I'm just gonna go back in with my hydrating spray as well to spritz my face. This is the exact same one I used last night. It's the Primark one. It smells really nice, actually. Okay, so moving on to actual face products. Now, I'm gonna go in with my foundation. Oh no, primer first, because I haven't primed yet. So out of all the primers that I own, the cheapest one that I had was the George Steel Day Primer. This one here. So this actually retails at five pound in Asda which actually is super super affordable it's definitely not the cheapest primer that i've ever used because i know i've used ones from like the w7 poundland which are obviously cheaper but it's still really affordable at five pound and i literally just put some on my hands and put it all over my face now if you've seen the video where i used asda beauty products for 24 hours truly that makeup was like one of the best faces of makeup i think i've ever done like i really loved love loved that video so i just lay that all over my face like that so this primer is actually really good it says that it prolongs makeup wear um and then it's an oil free primer and it actually does feel really nice on the skin to be honest i've reached for it right <laughs> i've reached for it quite a few times since that video so i do actually really like it okay so the cheapest foundation that i owned is actually from primark and it's this foundation here it's the matte foundation natural to medium coverage it's an oil free foundation this foundation retails for about three pounds so it is super super affordable and i really do like it i've used it quite a few times and it is 
a foundation that I, I do like. I don't reach for it as an everyday foundation. I have ones that I do prefer, but it's not a bad foundation. Now, I'm using it it's in the shade Ivory 02. So I'm just going to squirt some out. And I'm going to be using this sponge that I got from actually my savers video but i have wet it and then i'm just gonna put this all over my face it's actually a really nice color for when i haven't got a tan on i do like this foundation i am going in with a second layer personally i feel like to make the coverage of this more like builded you definitely do need two layers of it okay so that is a two layers of the foundation on it's a little bit pale i look a little bit ghostly but i can tan that up with my powders and stuff don't worry about it i'm just gonna take it off my lips because that really annoys us but yeah i definitely think it's one of them ones where you do need to layer it to build it up a bit but it's not a bad foundation like i've used it a few times um since the video and it's quite a nice foundation like i actually don't mind it okay so now moving on to concealers i went through all of my concealers and i have two that are exactly the same price Woo! so i have two here so i have this one which is again from primark you know primark you just can't beat the prices because they're so affordable but this is the liquid concealer and medium coverage and i've got the shade porcelain but then this one also came up as the exact same price online and this is by sheen this is their shade glam makeup range and this is um the long candy pro long eyewear um, but yes yeah, so these are the two cheapest concealers that i have now i'm going to use the primark one just because it has a better applicator than this one the only thing i don't like about this one is you do need to use a brush applicator for it because it is just like one of them i'm not the biggest fan of them so i'm gonna go in with the primark one just purely for that reason i feel like this is a very 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 like light concealer i don't feel it's got the best coverage personally and i haven't reached for it many times since the primark video because it just doesn't seem to have the best coverage okay so that's all blended i mean it's not bad like it does give you a bit of a conceal but i just don't like love it I'm not the biggest fan of it so the next thing that i would usually do in my routine is a liquid bronzer so i use this liquid bronzer on a daily basis and it turns out it's actually the cheapest one that i own and again this is from sheen this is the shea glam liquid bronzer and this is in the shade 103 espresso it is such a beautiful like contour stick i actually love it so i'm just going to apply this to where i usually would and it's so affordable as well now i've decided to start doing it as dots because i feel like it's less harsh than just like drawing a line And then once I've done that, I'm just going to blend this out again. I do like to blend this one more with like a eggshell blender. I just feel you get a better blend with it. Okay, so I've managed to blend my contour. Now, can I just say, I use this contour every single day and it usually blends super duper easy. But... I think the foundation didn't sit well with the contour because it's literally took so long to blend i've literally been hammering at my face and i feel like it's gone slightly patchy as well which on a daily basis it definitely like doesn't do that so not happy about that primark foundation that didn't go to plan anyway we've got it on it's on because my skin has been so dry recently um some days i'm using setting powder and some days i'm not and today's one of the days that i'm not going to be using setting powder because it's so dry and cakey that i just think it'll make the makeup look worse overall so we're going to move on to powdered products now the powdered products that i have we've got a highlight a blush and a bronze so I'm going to start with the blush. No, I'm going to start with the bronze. So, the cheapest bronzer that I had was actually part of a duo palette from W7. And this retails at £3. And you actually get a bronzer and a highlight. So, you get this bronzer here and then you get this shimmery highlight. So, I'm going to be using both of these products. I've used them before and I actually really like both of them. So, we're going to start with the bronze just give our cheeks a chisel chisel away like it's a bit of wood chicken wing chicken wing hot dog and bologna chicken and macaroni does anybody else just get tiktok songs in their head for like days oh 
not because I do this is such a beautiful palette actually I forgot how much I actually really like the finish of these products the bronze sits so beautifully okay so moving on a highlight I'm just gonna grab my highlighter brush um this is quite a nice highlight I don't reach for it like that often but I do like it every time I do use it it's quite a subtle highlight but I think it's actually such a pretty little glue Ta -da. so once I've used them products and then I'm gonna put on a little bit of blush now all the blushes I seem to have are quite high end so the cheapest blush worked out at this palette yeah which is the Roxy X Revolution palette now this is only £10 for the palette and you get eight blushes in it so it's actually really really cheap in my opinion now my favorite brush colors out of this palette are these two here these are the favorite ones so I'm just gonna go in with my blush brush and add a little bit of rosiness to my cheeks. Yes, please. It's so pigmented as well. Like, look at that. For being a cheap, cheap back product, it is so pigmented. Love that. So cute. Love that. Okay, so now that we've done blush, we are now going to move on to... What will we do next? Eyebrows or eyeshadow? We'll do eyeshadow next. So, the cheapest eyeshadow that I had was this eyeshadow. And this is by W7. And this is the Total Eclipse eyeshadow. I think they're such beautiful colours. Now, I have used this quite a few times. Because I do really like the shimmer colours and the matte colours. So, I'm just going to create a little eye look. I hope you're not expecting some Nikki tutorials type of eye look. Because that's not going to happen. I'm going to go in with the colour Const. Delation, I think it's classed as, which is a nice brown colour. And I'm going to put that on my crease. I really like this palette because it's so, so pigmented. And the colours don't have much fallout. And I just think they're really easy to blend. I'm then going to go in with the shade Milky Way. Which is like a nice dark brown shade. And I'm just going to deepen it up a bit more. think all these colors blend together beautifully and then i'm gonna go for a bit of shimmer so i'm gonna go for the shade solar which is like a nice gold shimmer color and i'm just gonna try and give my eyelid a little bit of shim Ooh, pretty look at that okay so the glitter ones did have a little bit more fallout but still not like ridiculous but i've just created like a little thing on my eyes i mean i'm definitely no james charles nikki tutorial or jeffree star we know this but We've got something on the eyelid, so that's a bonus. The next thing I'm going to do is my eyebrows. Now, my everyday eyebrow product is probably the cheapest one available, but I love it so much. And again, it's from Primark. I feel like it's hard to compete with Primark prices, but this is the eyebrow product. It's the Brow Pomade, and it is £2.50. It is so, so cheap, so, so affordable, but so, so good. It always stays creamy, which is what I absolutely love. So I'm just going to go in with an eyebrow brush and give me eyebrows a little bit of shape then I'll be back because you've seen us do eyebrows and every get ready with me I've ever done so you don't need to see it again okay I've popped some eyebrows on I don't actually think they've turned out that bad today they're not that bad are they so the next thing I'm going to do is brow gel the cheap cheapest brow gel that I have is this George Asda one okay this is transparent gel so it doesn't actually have a shade and I usually just brush my brows up just to give them a little bit more like of a natural look I mean, to be honest, they need a bit of a trim, so I don't want them to be, like, too sticky up me, but you get the gist. There we go with that. That's the brow gel complete. So I have lashes that I'm going to stick on, and then I have my lip products that I'm going to use. So, now, unfortunately, I didn't have any new eyelashes. I just had ones that, obviously, I've just been cleaning in the tub. So I'm not actually sure on the price point of, like, all my lashes or even the brands that they're from. So I am just going to stick a pair of lashes on to give the complete look. Okay, so I've popped the lashes on, looking a little bit bong eye, but we're going to ignore that. Okay, so now I'm going to go on to my lipsticks that I use. So the cheapest ones that I owned, in terms of bullet lipstick, was well, this one by George. This is the satin lipstick in the shade Charm. And then for lip glosses, the cheapest lip gloss that I owned was this high gloss by Primark. And this is the Lightweight Ultra Shine Lip Gloss. And it's in this really nice goldy colour. I actually use that lip gloss quite often. I really like it. I haven't reached for this colour shade much um i don't know why it's actually such a pretty color 
like look at that for an everyday lay Ooh, get here but it's just not a color that i've actually reached for much but then i'm gonna just if this isn't matte i don't need to let it dry so i'm gonna go straight on with the gloss because i'm just more of a gloss person i don't know what you are but i just love a gloss like there's nothing better than looking at someone's lips and they just look glossy and juicy Mm, who is she anyway so this is the finished makeup overall i think it's actually a really pretty makeup look i am just gonna do my hair off camera and then i will be back because i have um, just a little perfume thing to test so just wait wait there hun okay guys so this is the finished look with my hair straight and i actually really like it i think it looks quite cute the last thing i have is just a perfume so the perfume the cheapest perfume that i had was actually a body mist and this is the charlie powerful addicting sweet raspberry body mist so i'm gonna have to use this as my perfume of the day honestly i don't really mind it smells so good oh make me smell like a raspberry oh i love it honestly why like how do people know what raspberries smell like because to me raspberries don't smell of anything so like this smells amazing whatever it smells of it smells really good anyway this is my finished makeup look i really hope that you enjoyed this video and i hope you enjoyed my 24 hours video where i use the cheapest beauty products if you've got any other suggestions for these 24 hour beauty videos let us know in the comments below where you want us to try i'm happy to do more or less anywhere that sells beauty products i'll use the products for 24 hours just let me know if you want to see the reverse of this video where i use expensive beauty products for 24 hours you can see that in the playlist but i will also link it below for you as well but yeah without further rat chat i'm gonna let you go because i I haven't really got much more to say yet and I'll see you very shortly for another video. Bye!